So Singapore, it really is an amazing place, isn't it? It is, with so much to see and do. The only problem is deciding on what to do and keeping within your budget. But we've made nine short videos just to help you solve that very problem. I'm John. And I'm Lou of Independent Travel Reviews. This video is number five of a series of nine about Singapore and today we're going to tell you all about Sentosa Island. So we're going to cover options for accommodation and the Singapore Aquarium and we're also going to cover the beaches, Fort Siloso and give you some options as to where you could eat whilst you're here. And we'll also give you our personal opinions of Sentosa which are not totally aligned. So we'll just point out now that our previous videos covered some of Sentosa, including the uh, Wings of Time show, the Cable Car, the Sky Helix and Madame Two Swords. Um, so they're covered in our previous videos as ways of saving money using multi-tickets such as the Go City Pass and the Mount Faber Flexi Pass yeah. um, in order to help save you some money whilst you're here in Singapore. So make sure you watch those as well so you get the whole picture of Sentosa. So let's start this video with some information about getting here and getting around. Uh, right, so we're on Sentosa Island. Sentosa Island is about two and a half miles wide, a mile north to south, and it's separated from the mainland by a narrow strip of water. It's about uh, three and a half miles southwest of the kind of Singapore harbour. You get to it, um, you've kind of got three choices really. There's a monorail which runs from Vivo City, which is a massive shopping mall just on the mainland. Um, there's a bus service, the 123, which runs um, from mainland Singapore all the way down to the bottom of St. Teresa Island or there's cabs available if that's what you, what you want to do. Now the monorail is free once you're on the island, but to get the monorail from the mainland onto the island, there's a charge of $4, but you don't pay that charge if you are staying in a hotel and you have a reservation on the island, you can go and get a, a kind of free barcode, which uh, gives you that travel for free. Once you're on the island, um, there's uh, three free buses that buzz around. Um, you don't need to prove that you're staying on the island, you can just use them. You can hire bikes here and it's fairly small so it's easy to walk and of course if you've got the cable car ticket there is a cable car that runs three stops along the island so that can be a good way of getting around as well now i don't think you need to stay on the island personally i think it's it's close enough and easy enough to get onto that you could you could still do sentosa island and stay on the mainland there is for example a travel lodge which looked pretty good value for money right by vivo city which so you'd be on sentosa within 10 minutes however i think lou's got a slightly different view because she really likes staying on the island and there is no doubt that it is a lot more convenient We've just had two nights at the Oasia Resort on Sentosa Island. Um, so we're just going to tell you a tiny bit about the hotel. I got a great deal here. It was, am I saying? Yeah, go on. Yeah, okay. Go on. So it was £310 for two nights. Um, I did it through booking.com and I paid the non-refundable price when I knew we were coming here. Um, the reviews were a bit mixed, it like said the room was really basic, but I think our room was lovely. We had a massive bath and a shower and the bed was really comfy and the air conditioning worked. It was all great. And we had this swimming pool. Now we have just come here from Marina Bay Sands where you couldn't kind of get in the pool, it was so busy. And I've had this pool to myself twice, so I've really enjoyed it. It's in a fabulous location. It's right by the... On a rail. Yeah, monorail. I can't remember which station, the middle one. And it's literally a, like a three minute walk to a, the World Resort area and then a three minute walk the other way to the beach. So it's it's perfect. So stay here. It is. It's really good. I got no complaints. It's got a bath, which we really liked. I, and it was very clean. The staff were really, really helpful uh, and friendly. I, there's a little gym, which is perfectly adequate. Uh, we didn't eat anything here. We kind of, there's a food court just over the way in Universal Studios. So we ate there. Um, 
But no, overall, it's, it's, I cannot see anything wrong with this place. And if the price comes in well, then I would say it's a pretty good choice. It's very central. Yeah, so good choice. Thank you, Mrs. E. <laughs> And then we wandered on over to the aquarium, which I thought was being kind of done up, but you think they're just adding stuff. But we were in there for just under two hours and that was really good. Would you? I would, I would give that a nine out of 10. I mean, I love aquariums anyway, but this one seems to be particularly good. There's some really unusual fish in there and a couple of absolutely massive tanks uh, with sharks and stingrays and all that good stuff in it. And it was fascinating. I think whatever age you are, I kind of think you would enjoy the aquarium. That's a bit of a must do for me. Um, and then we came down to the beach, didn't we? Oh yeah, we beach, yeah, beach wasn't for us. Didn't particularly like the beach. I, I think what I would say is if you've, if you've got an image in your mind of Sentosa being this kind of pretty, quiet little beach resort, you are going to be a bit disappointed. Um, it's worth going to the beach, but the water's a little bit dirty, so I don't think you're going to be tempted to swim. So Port Siloso, I think that's how you pronounce it, is a bit of a hidden gem actually. It wasn't obvious to us what it was, but in fact it is a, quite an interesting um, kind of fort that extends quite a long way to, right to the edge of um, Sentosa Island. Okay, we're having a debate here whether it's Fort Siloso or Siloso, but whichever it is, <laughs> that's where we are. And it's a fort that was used, um, well it was built in the, eight, the 19th century and used in the wars. It is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. We've been here almost an hour now. Um, I would probably allow an hour or so of your time. It's free, there's a bit of walking, there's a couple of exhibits that are air conditioned, but otherwise it's all kind of out in the open. Yeah, and, and I would say if you want a food court other than the one on Sentosa, then the, the free monorail to Vivo City takes or less than five minutes to get there. And there's this massive uh, food court at Vivo City, which is, is mostly for locals. So it is a very interesting experience finding something that you recognise, um, particularly if your normal food culture is Western. Okay, something I forgot to mention about uh, Vivo City is that the monorail station is right at the top of the shopping complex uh, and the MRT station is right down at the bottom. So you've got to kind of get yourself up through about four or five different levels to get from one to the other. At the same level as the MRT is a big hypermarket, which might be quite handy if you're going to stock up on provisions. And also that's where there is uh, a big food court. Uh, we've just had two days here, um, jam-packed of stuff to get a flavour of Sentosa and I think I've really enjoyed it. John, John has in bits. Uh, so I think Sentosa is like, a, it's a bit like a mini Orlando, very different from the rest of Singapore. It's their, their, the beach side, um, which personally I wouldn't spend time on the beaches, eh? it's too hot and the water's a bit dirty, but it's nice to see. Um, and then it's the resort world, which is universal, um, the, a water park, water cove and the aquarium. Um, okay, so I have enjoyed Sentosa. It is quite touristy in parts, but then there are bits like this that are 
uh, much more natural. It is touristy, um, but it's also a lot of um, Singaporeans come here. So, and, and John thinks it's busy. I personally don't think it's busy. If you go to Orlando, it's rammed, it's packed. As you can see, like, no one's here. Apparently Universal is, but we didn't go there. And I would imagine that at weekends and on public holidays, it does get really busy. So you might be well advised to try and make your trip here during the week, but just be prepared for it to be different to the kind of main bit of Singapore is what I would say. So yes, I would say two days in Sentosa was fab.